The first agent that we will talk about today is N-acetylcysteine, or NAC, which is often used uh, for the treatment of mood disorders. NAC is a natural compound that functions primarily by increasing the synthesis of glutathione in the body, and this helps to reduce oxidative stress in the mitochondrial electron transport chain. In addition to reducing oxidative stress, NAC and glutathione may help to protect brain cells from damage that may occur through oxidation or other pathological processes. It's been suggested that some of its mood stabilizing effects may be similar to those that you see with lithium or valproic acid, which are common mood stabilizers. Now, let's discuss some of the clinical trial-based evidence for NAC in various psychiatric conditions. In major depressive disorder, there are currently two published randomized clinical trials. The first one by Burke and colleagues came out in 2014. They recruited 269 patients with depression, treated them for 12 weeks at a dose of 2,000 milligrams a day, and they found significant clinical improvement in various scales measuring depression. The second study was by Porcoul and colleagues, published in 2018. This study was smaller with only 67 patients. They followed the patients for 12 weeks at a dose of 1,800 milligrams a day. In this study, they found a significant improvement in the CGI clinical global improvement scales. Only in individuals who had C-reactive protein levels higher than 3, as opposed to those who had levels of less than 3. C-reactive protein is a measure of inflammatory activity, and this suggests that NAC might be more effective in people with higher inflammatory activity, but this remains to be worked out in more details. Next. What do we know about NAC as a treatment for bipolar disorder? There are seven randomized clinical trials published. They typically included patients with bipolar disorder type 1, the manic type, and bipolar disorder type 2, the hypomanic type. Collectively, these studies followed patients for anywhere from 12 to 24 weeks, and the samples varied from relatively small at 17 to as large as 181 patients and doses ran between 1,000 to 3,000 milligrams a day. The results overall were mixed, and again, the patients with higher levels of C-reactive protein seemed to do better. Again, the degree of inflammation may impact on the efficacy of this treatment, both for unipolar and bipolar disorders. Next, what about evidence in children? There is a study by Wozniak and colleagues published in 2022 in which they tried NAC in children with bipolar disorder. The sample size was 24, so this was essentially a small pilot study. This was an open-label trial, meaning that no placebo was used, and the children ages 5 to 17 with bipolar spectrum disorder were treated for 12 weeks. 53% of the patients completed the study and it was found that they had a significant reduction in various mood scales, such as the Young Mania rating scale and the Hamilton depression scale, for example. And about 54% demonstrated an anti-manic response. So it seems that NAC can help to reduce mania. 62% experienced an antidepressive response. So this suggests that NAC can work both to prevent mania and depression in children. I'll summarize with these key points. N-acetylcysteine is a natural agent that functions as a mitochondrial modulator by promoting the synthesis of glutathione-stimulating hormones, or GSH. The production of GSH reduces oxidative stress and protects brain cells. NAC has potential applications in mood disorders, including unipolar depression and bipolar disorder, and may have benefits in children.